an Indian brand that has always been one that has set the market and the Indian stage on fire. Now going through certain challenges and reacting to those challenges. I'm going to talk now to Rahul Sharma, the founder and managing director of Micromax. Always great to sit down because here's a man who calls a spade a spade, a rarity in almost every part of technology companies. Rahul, thank you very much once again. I think the third or fourth time we're really talking, but today should be very interesting because I'm going to start off first by finding out the most critical thing I think that that is far more important than anything else. How is married life treating you? Uh, in uh, one word, if I have to summarize, it's nothing like anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the punch is not there, right? I mean, that, that part of it punch, is... Yeah, punch is gone on the other side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but otherwise, all good. And this is, this is uh, l like you say in your own, when, whenever you have a product launch or something like that, there's hype. And there's buzz and then there's final expectation and then all of it comes together so it's been everything you dreamt about yeah so all i can you know sum it up as uh, beautiful <laughs> okay yeah. so you know that she's watching so all of these things have to be said the right way but i can see from you that you seem to be far more relaxed and happier so we'll take it to be that things are awesome right now let's move on to what i spoke about right in the beginning micromax as a company came in uh, against all odds became this mega giant in India, really taught people that an Indian company can play right at the top league, right? But now there are challenges, uh, lots of other brands coming in, uh, creating more excitement in the market on a weekly basis. One brand will come in and buy 48 full page ads in a newspaper. Another one will come in and do a digital campaign that spends more money than those 48 full page ads. How do you take that on when you're now an established brand that must do regular business rather than doing these huge launches every week. Oh, well, Rajiv, uh, you know, these challenges, uh, these are not new to us. Okay. When we started off, uh, people, uh, they never gave us a chance. Uh, at that time, uh, you know, companies like Nokia, they had some, you know, 70% plus market share. Nobody thought that a, a company from India, Micromax, can come and uh, deliver the goods at that time. Uh, so. I think uh, we demonstrated that an uh, Indian company can also do it. Then that was Micromax 1.0. One, you know, 1 okay. Then Micromax 2.0 happened when the whole smartphone evolution started in 2010 and 11. At that time, again, people said, uh, in smartphone, you know, these guys won't be able to do it because uh, they were more of a small town players and all. Uh, I think we demonstrated that uh, in, in smartphones as well. Uh, uh, so. For us, so it, in terms of all those challenges, at, you know, at that time, uh, you know, the competition was different. In 2010-11, competition was different. Now, competition is different. So, we have seen all these waves, uh, you know, in, 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 various, uh, in various times. So, uh, I think competition always uh, expands the market and it is always good for the consumer and also good for the companies who take that in a positive sense. Okay. Uh, always keeps you on your toes and, uh, you, you know, you can always learn and, uh, and move forward. So, uh, so for us, how we see the this you know the whole competition, the all new and new launches is. I think uh, markets are expanding. Consumers are looking for more and more smartphones, and uh, the, you know that also opens a door for opportunity for players like us. Okay. Now, interestingly, you actually sliced it into three different stages: Micromax 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. Out of everything that you've done at this present moment, where you stand or when you were doing the challenge of Micromax 2.0 or when you started with 1.0. Is this the greatest challenge you believe? Because this is a saturated market. This is a market with too much clutter. Even though there are way too many people that want to buy a smartphone, they're becoming far more choosy about brand excitement and some don't care at all. There's no loyalty. They say we don't care about the brand. We we'll just go with anybody that gives us the best offer of the day. Biggest challenge yet? I don't think it is biggest challenge yet. I think the biggest challenge was that time when, you know, when we started making mobile phones. At that time, as I said, uh, there was no norm. Uh, nobody uh, thought that an Indian company can do it. I think that was, you know, that was a time when the whole, uh, you know, cart started rolling. Okay. I think now it is all about shifting the gears and adjusting your speed, moving fast or slow or changing your direction. Mm -hmm. It is now it is all about that. So why are we are calling this as Micromax 3.0? is uh, because you know times are changing earlier it was more about hardware uh, so when smartphones started it was more about hardware how many megapixels uh, you can mm -hmm. do whether it is 2g or 3g or 4g i think in times to come uh, hardware uh, 
or or you know or smartphones will become more of a you know as commodity and software is going to play a very very important role and that's why last year we started investing uh, in various uh, startups in various companies and now we started blending all those companies into uh, into our platform on and uh, you know baking into our operating system okay. so for us micromax uh, 3.0 is is more about services uh, we wanted to uh you know we want to become the biggest uh, services player in this uh, country and that's why we are unleashing micromax 3.0 so hence a complete uh, new look hence uh, a com- you know a, a new logo uh, which is uh, much more uh, you know bolder than uh, than ever uh, much more in your face and uh, 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 you know we are going uh, all out and uh, saying the, you know this is this is the way forward and uh, uh and i've also seen the trend as you, as you were mentioning i think we were the only company last year who were investing in so many startups uh, so time to reap those benefits and i okay. think that gives us a, a, an extra edge in the market uh, and uh, uh, this year is going to be exciting for us okay great so, so let's talk about that other thing that you just touched upon which is your new look right to a lot of people that are not in the industry uh, a, a change of branding usually confuses people what's the need why would you do it i mean we already you spent millions and millions to make us familiar with the particular look of a brand and now you're changing it the other part that people don't get is that when you change a brand it's not about just paying an advertising agency and some graphic designer the amount of investment is to change everything your boxes change your shops change every single poster of yours anywhere will change so it's a huge investment eventually what's the end goal why did you feel the need to do it was the energy low in the company or is this a new re-energize system what's the need to do it because it is a massive investment right so what was the need and what's the thought process so the thought process is uh, say this is change of tonality so when i say uh, so let me uh, 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 you know just uh, give you an example yeah so for example if you relate this to cricket this is change in stance okay right <laughs> so you 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 now your 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 lift off is more and your yeah so the change in stance is, is when you, yeah when you want to defend more your you know your legs are not that wide right. and then uh, your lift is not that much mm-hmm. but if you want to you know if you if you want to hit the ball or you know in terms of if you if you are a hitter then your stance will become and your uh, back lift is that much more. so 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 what is this is this your stance with your legs wider and your back lift higher yeah certainly i mean this okay. yeah this means we are you know we are we are becoming more and more uh, bold we uh, and uh, uh, and certainly we want to hit the ball out of park uh, <laughs> okay. for sure uh, mm. but uh, uh, and this is see this you know change there you know the change should always be there and uh, as we said we have seen micromax 1.0 2.0 this is 3.0 if we if we don't change ourselves with you know with with times as you said competition will keep coming in right so uh, depending upon the times i think this is the right time for us to uh, to shift the gears change our stance and uh, and unleash a new micromax uh, uh, you know in this country okay uh, and hence uh, the change of uh, logo uh change of stance change of tonality uh and also uh change a, a, into our product portfolio so you spoke about a brand new portfolio and you have launched and announced some new products along with your brand uh, your your new brand logo is this then a preview of what we're going to get is this an example of the new micromax 3.0 or just a preview no certainly as uh, you know we are unleashing 3.0 so what happened rajiv last year uh, ne- you know by november itself uh, when uh, so many things started happening because last year was quite eventful year uh, in the in the whole telecom industry uh, uh, you know we 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 saw all the markets and we said okay let's take a step back let's let's see and analyze what exactly the consumers are looking at what sort of products uh, you know uh, do they need what sort of services they are looking at and at that time we started making our products we started we said okay let's completely refresh the portfolio because the consumer is sta- you know com- consumer has started behaving in a certain certain uh, certain manner uh, the the product uh, ids were getting changed uh, their software needs the services needs were getting changed uh, so uh, we completely Uh, changed uh, our product uh, outlook and uh, for each and every different segment you know right from 4000 rupees till 20000 rupees uh, we started making uh, different products uh, 
for, for different audience. So uh, in Micromax 3.0, we are launching, uh, of course, we are launching our flagship products, uh, which, uh, which is uh, Canvas 6 and mm -hmm. Canvas 6 Pro. But uh, apart from that, we are also launching 20 more products. So this means we are completely refreshing. Uh, so this is not, uh, you know, just 3.0 in terms of only changing our logo and all. This is also changing our complete product uh, portfolio in terms of uh, hardware, in terms of software. So uh, uh, a very big move from our side. So uh, you've actually, uh, you know, preempted my next question. To a lot of people, there was a slowdown at Micromax last year. You partially answered that. Was there any other reason than to relook at your portfolio, lean back a little and wait for it all to just kind of come together in the right way? Because I would say last year was your slowest year in terms of your product releases. You were, you've always been a very aggressive company that has never waited for others to do anything. But last year cannot be described as that. So you've already given me one reason. Anything else? No, I think uh, if, you, if, you, if you look uh, back at the history, uh, uh, the most successful armies are those who take a step back, assess uh, the situation okay. of their competition and then start, uh, you know, their attack. Uh, so. Uh, I, I think that's what uh, we did, uh, and hopefully, in terms of our ammunition, in terms of our new products, uh, um, I think uh, we we got them right. So uh, that was the only reason we were just studying the market, and that's how we slowed down. So in first quarter, we never launched any product. Correct. Uh, and so all the products are now coming in, and that's why uh, you know 2016 is going to be an uh, eventful year for us. Okay. So let's now just try and explore. You have a brand new look, you have a brand new energy, you've taken a stand back, reanalyzed, perfected it, and you're back and you're saying, may well be the most eventful year for you in a very long time. If I was to say exactly from today, the day of the launch of the new Micromax 3.0, one year, what are your landmarks? What are your goals? What would make you really happy if you achieved? So, uh, you know, 3.0 is not about numbers for us, it's all about the user experience that what sort of user experience we are able to create and carve out of our phones. Uh, uh, after a year or so, we will be looking at uh, you know multiple people using all those different uh, sort of services which we are baking into our system. Uh, eventually every hour they will be using those services. So this is not, uh, you know, these services are not targeted on one. Uh, on one vertical, for example, it is not only about commerce or it's not only about caps. This is about everything you do uh, on uh, on on daily basis. So uh, we know that uh, you're into commerce, so we'll give you commerce. Uh, if you if you are into caps, uh, we will give you and we will prompt you that okay, the, uh, we, the, you know the the system will say that okay, these are your normal office timings, and by this time you take a cap. So we will offer you caps uh, in your regular, you know, for your for your lunches and all. We will offer you. Uh, uh, let's say food services, there will be health services. Uh, so for example, if you're looking for a doctor, you can find a doctor on this platform. Okay. Uh, so this means to say, to see earlier phones were like, uh, uh, you know, they were uh, only, you know, used for uh, voice calls and SMS. Uh, now these days, uh, for everything, practically 24 hours, the phone is with you. So if every hour we're able to give you some sort of services and help our consumer in their day-to-day -day life, I think uh, that is what we'll be looking at uh, after a year or so. So, so once again, we come down to the fact that this is a brand new Micromax in terms of what you're going to be doing. But you still have this huge, huge area uh, where you sell in certain towns and small towns where people wouldn't care about all this, not right now. For them, it's very important to be able to just communicate, right? Are you going to have a separate portfolio for them? Are you still going to be or are you getting out of that business? Because you're still king in certain B towns and C towns where what all you've said is complete alien language for them, right? They don't need cabs. Uh, they may not need X and Y kind of services. How do you re-energize for them? Uh, so Rajiv, these are the guys who evolve very, very quickly. Like two years back or so, we never thought that these people will be buying smartphones because India was still under penetrating in terms of, uh, you know, telecom. Uh, and these are the people who are now coming up uh, and uh, embracing smartphones. Uh, uh, so we will be surprised to know that how soon, how quickly these guys are coming up on, on, on this platform. But coming back on your question that, okay, will these guys uh, you know, require cabs as of now? Uh, maybe not, but the system is so intelligent, you know, the whole analytics, uh, what we have behind the system. So if you are, if we know that Rajiv, uh, you know, is not using cabs, but uh, he's more into movies, you know, probably will change cabs with movies. or 
some other person who, who you know who wants to learn english is not into caps we will change that caps with uh, you know learn english so the system you know the phone will adapt uh, a, and understand your behavior and then based on your behavior behavior we will start pushing all those services